Hi everybody. Uh, sorry it's been a little while. I've had a series of cascading things making, um, recording the actual videos of the poem of the day. Um, not increasingly difficult, but just difficult enough to where it's, um, it's been tricky to get them out in, um, in timely fashion. In any event, we're catching up. So I want to thank you for your patience there. So, um, uh, this is the poem for, poem of the day for May 20th, um, Wednesday, May 20th. Um, and this is a poem by Kimiko Han, and it's called The Dream of a Lacquer Box. Uh, I was thinking a lot when I was choosing these poems, I was thinking a lot about the, um, the time I spent in Japan um, and um, just how formative that was for me as a teacher, as a human being, um, as, as, you know, as it was just a big part of my life and not all of it was easy. In any event, um, I'm going to read this poem to you now. Um, so this is The Dream of a Lacquer Box by Kimiko Han. I wish I knew the contents and I wish the contents Japanese. Like hairpins made of tortoiseshell or bone, though my braid was lopped off long ago, like an overpowering pine incense or a talisman from a Kyoto shrine. Like a Hello Kitty diary lock and key, Hello Kitty stickers or candies, a netsuke in the shape of an octopus, ticket stubs from the bunraku, or am I just, or am I wishing for mother, searching for sister, just hoping to give something Japanese to my daughters? Then again, people can read anything into dreams, and I do as well. I wish I possessed my mother's black lacquer box, though in my dream it was red, though I wish my heart were content. There's something really, um, really beautiful um, about those small little observations that um, Kimiko Han makes there. So it's just a poem that, you know, really, really stuck out to, uh, to me. So I wanted to share it with you. Uh, all right. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we will see you again next time. Take care.